Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we are going to be doing the uh, next in the main missions. This one is called the Scarab Sting. And uh, before we do it we're going to have a look at uh, gear. In fact, before we look at it we're going to look at our targets. So let's have a look at the targets. Because we're now... Oh no, we're not. Yeah, we are. We're going to look at the targets. So... You tell you we've taken out the bottom row, but there are four more now. The Scarab, the Hyena, the Crocodile and the Lizard. And we're going to look to go into the Scarab. Which is where we are here. So the Scarab Sting to trigger this. We're going to look at our gear first, I suppose. We've got one melee weapon to have a look at. It's not much cop, really. I don't think. It's not as good as what we've already got, I'm sure. Uh, no, it's not as good. So there we go, we've got that done. And um, we've also got a, a mount, which is Baos, given to us by Thanos, but that's okay. We don't need that. So we're going to start this off now. To get this mission underway, we need to track it. We've already been given it. There it is, the Scarab Sting. So let's track it, and it tells us we've got to go to talk to someone in Say. Or Says, however you pronounce it. Now Says is over here, that's where the marker is, so we'll go and see him in a minute, but first we'll travel to Says, and as soon as we get here, this guy's going to run up and talk to us. Nothing to do with this mission, but this guy's going to come out and talk to us. You are Bayek, yes? My master is anxious that you get this letter. It is urgent. Your master? Do I know him? His name is Otis. You haven't met. All is explained in the letter. We'll see what never know peace. I will go to the Saragina camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. Okay, so that relates to a different quest that we'll do later on, or much later on, because it's a quite a high up one. But for now, we're going to speed up the video and we're going to shoot off to where we need to go, which is down here. There's quite a lot of cutscenes in this one, so it takes a little while to do. So, right over to here. Dismount and go and talk to this guy down here. Where is this delivery headed? To Yamu for the Sekhmet ceremony. Get them sealed up and on the cart. There we go. They're just chatting. I seek the master brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the Scarab, the shadow that darkens Saiz. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Okay, so follow the guy to a place of safety to talk. And he will talk to us as soon as we get in there. There are many terrible stories about the Scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate. Trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. Okay, when you've got control again, go through the crack in the wall that he's shown you. And you'll see that there is a table. Have a look at it. The investigations of Haku's agents. Concerns of the people. Ah, Saez is no different than Siwa. No, nope, none at all. 
Okay, so there's that one. We also get this, which talks about bodies in the sand. And then we go over here and you get these four different quests that become available to us, which we'll take them all, add them, look at them individually as we go. And then we come back, at, oh, I'm going to get some arrows, and then we're going to go back out of here. Talk to Hakmu again. The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. Hmm. Who was he? Or Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Kawab, is his grandson. Hey, you're tired of winning. I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No, he left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Okay, so once you've finished that cutscene, we're going to call our horse. We're going to see where it is. That's where we've got to go to find the boy's grandpa. Call the horse. And we'll speed it up as we ride to this location. And the location isn't that far away. What about that? Oh, we've got a leopard. We better fight that off. Right, that's that taken care of now. We gotta search. this camp somewhere. Of course the joy is we'll get this location finished as well. Well there there's a there's the boss, the captain. We need a treasure as well. There is a brazier here. Which I hadn't totally noticed. And I couldn't see where the treasure was, but the treasure's behind these two guys. We've already highlighted it. That's why it's not showing up. Then who's in a bit more. There's the treasure behind those two guys, so that's okay. Okay, so time to start going up there and sorting this out. So we're going to change it to night time, because I prefer going into these places at night time. And on we go. So there's two guys standing up here on the guard in the gateway. We'll get one of them easily enough. still going to come looking for us so we're going to sneak in here. This is Camp Pyros. But it's a location and we'll, we'll do it because of this mission so it'll be finished pretty soon. This guy's coming looking for us but he's not found us yet. Come over to this bush. And that will be his undoing. We're going to try and get into here a bit more now. Yep, we got that. The 
big bosses over there, no one whistling isn't helping, so we're not going to whistle anymore, we're going to keep going over here this way. Here he comes. Now you really don't want to get into a fight with him, look at the size of him. He's not going to come over. So we're going to try and take him out. This may cost us a bit because it in fact it did. I forgot the other two guards were there in there until they've seen me. They're going to start a fight, but more to the point, one of them's going to start the beacon. Which means there's going to be reinforcements coming. Uh, so that's brought out a lion. We'll attack him for us. So that'll help us a bit. for now is actually the new guys and they've got the little brazier, red brazier over the heads to show you that it's them. So I see if you can keep, get to them. We are going to get them before we finish the rest of this mission. I think it's going to be necessary. So they're not here yet. There comes one, I think. He's coming around here. But he's not coming right round. So I'm over to hear him. Okay, he's not coming there either, so we're going to take him out like this. Oh! Yeah, we got him. Okay, we're still looking. There's two more down here, look. So, we can use the bow and get one of them. And maybe we need to go and do it again. There he is. And that's him gone as well, and I think that's all of them done. It is, yeah. So it was a bit messy, but we still got it done. It wasn't the end of the game. We didn't fail it, which is all good news. We're going to go in here and get some... We're going to get the loot around here as well, but we're also going to pick up some arrows. So we've already got all the arrows we need. So we're going to nip in here and get a tre treasure. There it is. That's the location completed. Now we just have to finish the mission by rescuing the old man. There'll be a cutscene at the end. get you out. I think you will survive. We're gonna put him on a horse and then ride back to the village. I know this scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. 
Akuf told me that you are investigating this Garab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. Okay, so just ride along. We we'll sped the video up until we get to where we've got to get to. Nearly there now. And then I paused outside thinking something was going to happen, but it didn't. So you just go straight into that green, that yellow marker, and then there's another scene. Grandfather! Are you all right? Is he hurt? Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawa? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great walk. Mother! Grandfather is hurt. Soldiers must took him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for this scarab. I hope he can help me, and in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like the scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. But the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband, Tahaka, has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will go up. Okay, so there we have it. There's a couple of quest items, but that is the end of the Scarab Sting. We can see that's done, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to... Oh, we've got a Billy point. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, it's bye for now.